Hey everyone. So sitting before you is one of these Galaxy base stations. And after a week of getting emails about it, I finally relented and decided that I'd pull it out and see what, uh, see what the big deal is. So regarding the drifty uh, bit, now this radio was pretty drifty. Um, when I uh, checked the uh, VCO uh, and just watched it, it was all over the place and it never really seemed to stabilize. Um, now it is, but I've already uh, repaired the problem that uh, this radio had. Now this radio had a problem. That doesn't mean that this is going to be a fix for all of them, but it, it very well could be that this is the culprit. Um, so right now the radio is, um, as far as frequency is concerned, hovering right around uh, 16, 110, 135-ish. And um, that's pretty much where it's been for a while. So the, um, the chart that I made of it after the fix, which is here, um, so this is when it was cold. This is after I um, replaced the offending component, which we'll get to, and it warmed up and then it stabilized. Um, it stabilized at the end there, uh, right around where it is now. 16, 5, 10, 135. I haven't adjusted anything in this radio, haven't turned anything. It's pretty much the way I turned it on. Uh, and that's um, at where, it at, at where it is. So um, I stopped logging this around 12, 10 uh, p.m. today. And uh, then, of course, somebody rang me and I had to talk to them. And it's now 1352. Uh, so. That's, um, it's been sitting there hovering around 135, uh, 16, 5, 10, 135 for this entire time. And um, just in the amount of time that I've been talking here, it's pretty much still hovering around 135. So it's, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. Um, that said, so what, uh, what's the problem? Well, what was the problem with this radio? So down here, C130 is, a, I, I would assume, an NPO cap. I would assume that they didn't just draw the black line on it. It's just a regular ceramic. So I'm going to go with it's an NPO, a 30 puff NPO. Uh, he seemed to be the culprit here. So what I did at first was, because I don't have a 30 puff NPO, so I stuck uh, a, th a 330 and a 33 uh, puff capacitor together to get to 30 puff. Stuck that in there. Said, no, I don't really like that. You know, it looked, it looked kind of dodgy. It worked, though. Um, so I ended up with uh, doing a uh, uh, 30 puff NPO uh, 0603, which is what's in there now. And... Um, I kind of like that better. So I'll just show you where I put the uh, 0603 um, NPO. We can get it in there without blurring up. So it should be right there. So there's the Varactor there. And here's where the uh, ceramic uh, C130 was. So that's where I put the uh, 30 puff NPO. Um, uh, 0603 sized component. So you can give that a go if you have a uh, you know a 30 puff MPL. If you don't have one, you could probably get away with taking a, a 33 and a 330 uh, puff in series and getting your uh, 30 puff if you've got one. Uh, I'd be curious to know if this is really the issue or if uh, it's a red herring, uh, meaning that only this particular radio had a bad um, 30 uh, puff NPO cap. So I'd be curious to know. Uh, other than that, um, it, is, uh, it is now stable and uh, ready for use. Now, of course, if you go uh, take, it to, take it up north, um, like uh, wherever, north, anywhere north of where you are, except for the southern hemisphere, and um, you know, expose it to like negative uh, temperatures, I'm sure it's going to uh, 
uh, deviate a little bit. So that said, uh, I'd be curious to know if uh, if that solves it for other people, if it doesn't, or if it's a red herring, and it was just this radio, which is just fine, doesn't have any issue, and it just had a bad cap. So cheers, guys. Till next time.